Okay, welcome to Catalyst Circle meeting number 12 of CCV3. Um, let's start with a quick check-in and see where everybody's at today. Um, you wanna kick us off Quasar and then Joey can follow. Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, I'm outside on the porch, uh, uh, building super glow on my glasses, doing pretty well. I was looking at some of the things with Catalyst, you know, with challenge teams and um, listen to the community over the CA, uh, the QA process. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot going on, but a lot getting organized and a lot of uh, important information being structured uh, for us to make some awesome decisions. And I'm trading crypto 24 seven. And that's it. Thank you, Daredevil. <laughs> Joey and then Steve. All good. I'm trying out another PC, a loaner PC today. All my old equipment died on me, and I'm back in the closet. It's cold in here, so I feel like I'm in a meat closet today. Hopefully, you can stay warm through all these exciting topics. Um, Eve <laughs> and then Felix. I'm fine. Kelly took care of the dogs for me, so we should be good. Nice. Uh, Felix and then Tommy. Doing really fine as well. I'm looking forward to the time with you guys. Awesome. Tommy, how are you doing? And then we'll go to Reese. I don't know. Maybe a little under the weather. Uh, I don't know if it's sickness coming or just tired. But... Hey, Tommy, I'm right there with you, but I feel like I'm tired and might be a <clears throat> little sickness coming on too. Been working a little too much. Sorry to hear that, guys. Take care of yourselves and hope you feel better. Um, Reese, how's it going? Yeah, really good. Thanks. Um, looking forward to this call. Been, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. And Pete, how are you doing? Doing well. It's Thursday. Been a pretty good week. Very busy. Good. I've got my tea here. I'm excited. I'm gonna be typing. Just blah, blah, blah. you won't hear from me for the rest of the call. Enjoy. Nori, <laughs> somebody have to announce you as well. Nori, how are you? Yeah, Nori, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm out at my cabin um, on the island. It has no power or water. It's pretty rustic. So I'm actually at a neighbor's cabin because they have Wi-Fi and power. So. They've graciously allowed me to get online while I'm out here. Um, we've been building a parade float all week. It's a 10 meter long replica of the ferry that comes out to our island. So we're going to be putting our ferry into the parade. So it's been really fun um, working what together, being creative and doing stuff this week. So that's what I'm up to. But glad to be here with you all. Um, yeah. I have to say it. I have to say it. That sounds very fun. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I figured I'm the oldest. I should do a dad joke. So, yeah, nice. All right, thanks for checking in, everybody. Um, let's kick it off. We had some action items from last meeting that are here. Um, these are left over from meeting ten. Um, and the action item was Tom A to convene a working group to go through the nomination criteria and revise it based on the five categories. I think that's been happening. Um, Do you need me to comment? Or? Only if there's anything to update there, if we can call it done or. Um, half the circle was there, half the circle wasn't there. Then it's wrong to go. Okay, but you did make progress on that. Um, and then all circle members to provide input to the document for code of conduct. Did everybody get a chance to take a look at that? It wouldn't let me in. I didn't have rights to it. Oh, we may need to check in with that when uh, Chris gets here, if that's still the case. If you want to try clicking on the link in the agenda and see if it's still an issue, then we can get that resolved. It's still access to mine. Okay, that's okay. not good.
All right, when we'll follow up with Chris when he gets here um, or for next time. For the next action item, all circle members to provide input on this doc. I'm not sure which doc that is. That's just the uh, survey results from um, uh, Polis from uh, Quasar. Right. Okay. And uh, it looked like over the course of the two weeks, people had had a look at it and added some bits. So, um, so yeah, that was well attended by everyone. Awesome. All right. And then JP resent the doodle poll to identify a new potential meeting time going forward. So it looks like most people have replied to that. So we can look at that as one of our topics for today. All right. Um, we have a short announcement bit. Does anybody have any announcements to make? Um, these are anything about upcoming events or things that the community should be aware of or other circle members should be aware of what's happening in the next couple of weeks. All idea fest videos re recordings are uploaded now. 130 shots. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. Awesome. Any other announcements? All right, let's get into the agenda um, alignment and revision. So we looks like we have a bunch of stuff here. We have um, meeting change vote. So this is a vote to change the meetings to every Wednesday before town hall. Um, and then a topic for documentation and citation references. Can you? Speak to that a little bit, Quasar, and what that's about. Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, uh, really quickly, the the meeting. You know, this is from the polis, the doodle. I just wanted to mention that uh, we need to make a change on this. It looks like Wednesday sounds like it might be the one that works best. Um, and then the documentation citation. There's a lot of Google documents being sent around, shared uh, not only in the circle but in the CA channel and in in all of the communities and it, it gets very uh confusing and hard to track what is a real document where it originated who's working on it what implications it has you know what status or progress um you know if you click on the link uh you'll see kind of what i'm what i've been doing which is adding you know notes at the top whether it's a work in progress or you know where it originated from who is who who's involved and and that's why i was hoping to get the circle uh google workplace that way if documents are originating from circle they can you know be easily be tracked there uh, and uh, that's it for that i just like to see us improve our citations Okay, and then the third one, IOG's Catalyst Coordinator team update. Yep, um, absolutely. If you will scroll down to the bottom, well, let's take a look at who who was on their coordinator team. Um, I'd like to get an update from Chris whenever he uh, arrives. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, no, keep going down, if you will. Right there. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, just a note for us to get that updated from from him. Okay. And that's it for me. All right. And then the next one is challenge teams, close out questions, budget from Joey and Quasar. Yeah, for me, I just had some questions that people were asking me about the process for the challenge team to close out. And uh, Chris did send me a link to the uh, Latin America group to close out uh, for the challenge teams, which looked really good. So um, at least that's a sample to go by because people are wondering how to close out, what it should look like, and when they're going to get paid. Okay. And then Chris wanted to go through the, the trustee guide. There's a BPA update before the. Oh, the BPA update. Yeah. Is anybody, is that one clear? Is it just an update from the BPA? Yeah, what's going on? Okay. Um, and then Quasar Steve, Chris had some doubts regarding the not agreed on structure. So it's a conversation around the, the structure of the circle moving forward. 
Could I, could I ask there on the, that that highlighted quote about the trustee guide? Who said that? I feel like GPS is like the CF. Where's that? Who, who's, uh, I, believe Quasar? That, I believe that would be Quasar. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. And, and if it's okay with you, I, I'm, I like to add these notes or comments. Um, so I don't have to bring them up. It seems like I'd like to facilitate this meeting by adding as much notes or context ahead of time or uh, so we don't have to spend a lot of time talking about it like I'm doing now. Yeah, totally cool. Um, and then we have the reference challenge teams above with Joey. What's this topic about? Okay, so why do I have Tommy and oh, so I actually, um, let's start, look at this Tommy. Um, uh, this is in regards to the community engagement. How might we recruit candidates for the possible redesign seats? And how might we start uh, building the sub circles? I added, I added myself to, to yours, Tommy, also to, to, to yours, Joey, because I see some areas here where we can actually have a very legitimate uh, process and method to identify some of these things where they line up. <clears throat> so I, I think the sub circles, let's look at challenge teams that have not been funded and see if there's a, a way to build that, incorporate that in. And then looking at the budget also, uh, like, like um, Joy mentioned. Uh, I don't know if those numbers are correct for the challenge teams, but there's funds there. There's work to be done and organized. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Felix, you have open questions about voting? Yeah, uh, because I would like to raise this as a top priority also to keep everybody in mind. We still have two to three weeks with this Catalyst Circle working group here. And then it's the next circle, right? And we still have not walked all the voting criteria, which we need to do the election. So the half of the agenda, the most of the agenda I love, but this is totally out of scope now, guys. I'm a little bit afraid that we might go into topics which we will never able to get solved in the next two, three weeks and not focusing on our main job, which is the election process for the circle version four. And there are still open questions which needs to be solved. If not, web drops comes down. So is everybody okay with moving this to be the first topic? 100%. Other, uh, other than my documentation, citation, and the meeting, those are done, you know. So yeah, move it to the top, please. Okay. No worry. On that code of conduct was Joey and Stefan. Stefan didn't raise anything there. I just, just put the links in as a reference for people that if they were thinking about, couldn't recall what the code of Kind of started. Okay. Yeah, I added I added uh, the name in GitHub there. Okay. Is everybody happy with these topics? Are there any others to add, or do people think some of these shouldn't be on here this week? Just regarding the last three calls where we spent a lot of time to the election and still, I would say not even the half full. To be honest, I get very, really worried about, hey, is this group here actually able to set up the election process for Catalyst Circle version 4 because it doesn't seem like a little bit. Last meeting we turned all the way back and said, hey, is this actually the set the good approach or whatnot? And that's our main job. So, a little bit concerned on so reading ourselves I mean, too thin, but not tackling. You know, I, I would like to address one point there, Felix, because I thought two meetings ago that we had decided to go with the GPS roles, right? And then the last meeting that I was in with you, you were speaking as if we were going with the roles that we've had. And so I, I've been confused for a few days about what we were actually doing because as you point out, right? You know, nothing, nothing seemed to be settled, and and yet it seemed like we'd gone 180 in how we were speaking about it. So I mean, like, I need some clarity to bring some clarity. Um, there was a vote to go with the GPS, and there were no strong objections, so that passed. 
And there was also a vote to use drip drops to run the election. And that also passed without any strong objections. There were people that had some questions and it may not have been everyone's favorite thing, but um, it passed with majority consent to do that. So those shouldn't be in question anymore. Correct, they, pa they passed also with a, uh, a better definition of the GPS category roles and the, the drip drops voting, voting passed uh, with the other options all still being on the table. You know, this passed, we're going that way, we're done. Like that's final, but we have to define uh, you know, the voting criteria, which is going to depend on the GPS, I think. So I believe the things that I've added here have provided the bridge to connect these things, how we can actually do this transition from role, GPS category, and, and uh, vote and, and start building criteria, dates, all of that. I think we're, this is kind of what I feel like this gets everybody happy and provides that story that we can tell to everyone. And I'm gonna lower my hand. So going through the agenda, it sounds like we should move all the election related topics to the top. Um, and it, so which ones are those? Is it this one from the 40 minute one as well? Going through the trustee guide? The trustee guide's 39 pages. Um, I, would, I would suggest or recommend that we open up the, the questions, the links, and let's just look at those voting questions. The criteria, uh, the final things that Felix was is thinking we have to iron out. Okay, so is everybody happy to focus on the election till we're happy with where we're at? And then if we have time for the remainder of the topics, we can move on to those. Yeah, I, I added the trustee guide there as a note because Chris said in Slack that he wants Go to address Chris. that in the Go meeting, but Chris. he's not here. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's 40 minutes or four minutes. I don't know what he wants to go through. Okay. So until Chris gets here, I'll move this to the bottom. And then if we have time, and let's just get started with the election topic and kick that off. Um, When you go on the document, document, I just marked everything in green what we have agreed on in the last call already. Below uh, the four questions we still have to figure out. Well, the first question is not really a question. This is the, let's say, our KPI that we need a list of nominees which get voted on. And this list was designed by Drip Drops. This is their checklist for us in order for them to make it happen. Until we not have responses to any of these points, Drip Drops is not able to start the vote. This is really important here to mention. Then when does it start, the election? Well, it's still not really clear. Does it start before or after? But I think before is out of scope already, after our power. Felix, I, I put that. Mm -hmm. I put my answers in the general chat, and I had yes. a suggestion about the timeline. Would you, like everybody to, feels about it. would you like to present this briefly, Joy? Can you copy it out of the uh, general? At least the timeline piece of it. While he grabs the, the, the timeline from the Slack, I'm going to grab the timeline. Uh, for 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 the fund because there's uh, things changing with fund ten timeline that we can work with. I can't get to the Slack right now myself. Okay. Is somebody going into Slack to retrieve those? 
Yes, just had trouble to find in uh, which channel. It was. <laughs> I can't find it's it either. It. <laughs> it's in the cover. It was in the general. It was in right. the general. I think. Or no, you know, it was um, under the, the meeting. I have it. Uh, I sent you a link to the message directly here in Zoom live chat. When does it start? Okay, from Joey. When does it start? Need to vote. Stuff that that that. They prioritize correctly. Finding <coughs> voting. 11 8 to 25 8. Now this is adjusted. It's from 25 August 25 to um, not announced yet, I would say. Telling one result. This is all delayed. Everything is delayed for two weeks due to the catalyst voting delay of two weeks. So are, are we saying are we saying to start the vote on the twenty fifth? No, it's not. No, my he didn't copy in the okay. the dates that I, I okay. put in. Just below that, there should be some dates. Voting eight eleven to eight twenty five. Uh, but this is that, uh, oh, that's this all day. that that's the prior that work. that's the prior dates. Right below that, it was, yeah, this is my suggested dates here. Okay. But shall we? Just the, uh, the voting and everything is delayed by two weeks. So voting right. starts on 25th. So everything right. so if you is see, two weeks behind. Exactly. So if you see my suggestion, the catalyst voting starts at the 25th to the 8th. Our elections could start on the 8th to the 14th. Then the tallying yes. is 9th. Do you see the dates? Um, I have my hand up, but I will speak now. So, um, yeah, I like that. I think the sense of urgency in that, and I think there should be a date before that, which is 31st of August, which is Wednesday. And I would suggest that we take over the town hall as we did before and we launch everything there and make it visible and make it loud and make it fun and make it appealing. Well, all the town halls, right? I mean, like all of them. We really have to... All of them. We really have to... We have to really, really press for people to stand for election, you know, because this thing... I mean, you know, I mean, it's the same thing that they discover with, with liquid democracy. None of this shit works if there's not a lot of represent, you know, a lot of people standing to represent and a lot of people with opinions on it, you know, and I mean, something good will come out of it. But, you know, if it's just, you know, if it's just happening from a, a few dozen people, it's not worth it, you know. Steve Reese, you have your hand up. Oh, sorry, I just meant to do a thumbs up. I hit the wrong button, uh, but I agree with Tommy. I think aligning it with the town hall is a great way to launch it and to close it out. So that reach is really important. And just like Steve said, we need to make sure we do it across all town halls as well and not just a single one. Um, yeah. I think that three week kind of period or just over is about how much time we need or drip drops need to actually get that in as well. So um, the sooner that we can get this ball rolling, definitely the uh, the faster we can get it implemented and stick to that timeline. Are we all going to all town halls or is one going to one town hall or what is your suggestion? Well, we haven't really decided that yet. I'm sure we can figure it out. Sounds like there's a proposal to kick everything off at the town hall on August 31st and then at the same time, any other global town halls um, that land on or near that date within a week or so. Yeah, um, and we, we need to notify them now because- Yeah, why, why wait to the town hall? Like just start telling people that, hey, if you wanna run, nominations are open. Uh, town hall will be the smallest uh, distribution channel. I thought well, that I was just to launch the voting and not not for nominations. You know, we need to get nominations in now, like or, yeah. or as soon as possible. Like we can't. Absolutely. It's not about nominations; it's about voting. I think we should be. I, I think we should be dropping in on Twitter Spaces too. I mean, there's regular ones. Let's go. 
Agreed. But my point, my point about the town hall was that we need to notify people that in advance, like two weeks in advance, because otherwise people will want to have their own breakout rooms and whatnot. And if we want to host those breakout rooms, then we should let people know. Let's just create a, a, an announcement today that is going to be going out various wares everywhere, t- Twitter, town halls, everything. Announcement of announcement type announcement. Number go up. And then from there, we can say next week we'll launch the fort. You know, however many town halls everyone can attend, we'll open it up and we can just start pushing it everywhere and start getting nominations in because um, we are in a bit of a hurry to get this sorted. Um, Chris, your hands are up. Yeah, hi, guys. Uh, I think pretty sure I'm, I'm a little bit late. Um, maybe I can make a couple of suggestions. Might be, might be good to maybe put, it, put this into a table of what all the steps are. Because, um, you know, in order to get to the vote, we need to have, uh, you know, a period and a window for nominations. Well, before we can get to opening up nominations, we need to have places where people can understand, or at least content and copy that people can understand what being part of Circle means. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm, whilst I'm conscious of trying to just uh, get moving on this, um to, to yeah work back plans really important at this stage so that we actually understand what are those component steps and when they need to be delivered by in order to get to what effectively amounts to day day day, day naught which is the, the beginning of the vote so that brings up a question chris what does it mean to be on circle i object with that question Okay, it may, it may be a distracting a tangent, so I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. We should probably work backwards and start talking about topics from when is the election held and then what needs to be done to run up to that date. Um, and I don't think we're, I, I don't have enough clarity myself to take notes or understand when the election is going to be. Are we talking about Joy's suggested date here plus two weeks? Yeah, I thought that was what we'd uh, what we'd said based on that information. That's three weeks, right? So that would be a Thursday, and we're talking about September twenty second to the twenty eighth. For the open voting, yeah. Oh, I'm looking at August. Hold on, sorry about that. Um, uh, that 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 works. Uh, I believe we were going to do it on on um, <clears throat> uh, uh, epochs or something along that line. Ten days, ten fifteen days. And and also on on the kind of pre- preparation for voting and stuff. I I feel like we already have all that stuff together. Don't we have Google Forms from the previous elections? Don't we have guides? or information on what the circle is and what we're up to for for people who wish to be candidates. Uh, I don't really think we need to rebuild all that. It already exists because we've all used it before. So the only thing that we would need to do is um, adjust the categories, right? And maybe yep. provide a little bit of information on what those categories represent, which you some some people who here have already put the work in you know tommy's already worked his ass off on that stuff so i i imagine that's kind of already done as well let's yeah, look at tommy's argument materials from the previous elections that we can definitely reuse if they're they're useful um but while we're just getting the the timeline in place um before we move on it, is the September 22nd to 28th the election period that we're wanting to do? That's a week. Um, Didn't we say two epochs? That's what we I did. Thought. Well, we said 10 days. I think in the last meeting we agreed on, yeah, why not using the epochs? And how did it go from the 8th to the 22nd? 
I don't really get that. It costs oh, the, uh, calculate enough time for the nomination process. Well, Chris, was there any inclination, any decisions made regarding the incentives? Are we going to take it from the 20% or? No, no decisions made on any of that. Yeah, and that's taking us way off topic right now. Um, well, no, it's not we, off topic. No, it's not. Yeah. We, we have it on the agenda, but right now we're trying to work backwards from the election date just yes, to figure out what we need to do. Nori, please don't speak over me. What I meant is that we need to have that decision on the timeline, and we need to know what needs to happen before that, because we need to let people know. May I ask, may I add something to that? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, yeah. If I step out of line of your facilitation uh, um, uh, processes, Nori, please forgive me. Um, and Tommy, uh, forgive me as well. Um, I think what Tommy's addressing is, is in the meeting that we'll get to it. So we're actually working backwards in this a little bit as well. Uh, we will get to the funding, which will get us to the voting. Yes, we added the, the compensation question to the agenda. So we will be talking about that. Um, but I think it's a good point that we need to know when that decision will come because we need that maybe fairly soon if we're needing to get that before nominations are even put in so people have a, enough information to decide whether they're going to run or not. Quasar. Uh, if I may. Um... Which documents are we working on here? The CC board before checklist uh, versus the meeting, and then the the doc that Felix shared. There was one other that had the uh, criteria for V three, um, and I think one for V four, which is what Tommy was working on. So if we could take a look at the the one with both, I don't know if you have it. I can I can grab it, but just want to make sure we're getting these notes in the same place so we have them. Yeah, I don't have links to those. I'm just working off the, the link that Felix provided in the agenda. Very weird atmosphere. What was that? Really weird atmosphere now. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable here at all. I don't feel safe as well. So I'm almost at the verge of calling this meeting. Um, it's not feeling productive at all, and we seem to be straying way far away from what we need to be doing. Yes, very much appearance. I would um, rather leave the call and spend my time somewhere where I know, okay, I can, we can get answers on this and can move it forward on a gentle way. And yeah. I would, I would probably like to, to agree um, with that, uh, the, the, the CF representative doesn't feel safe here. The facilitator doesn't feel safe here. Um, maybe this is something just for the, the community circle. So we can continue <clears throat> uh, the circle meeting uh, with circle members. I, I would just like to say that we can be more resilient than that. You know, it's just as a suggestion. You know, it's different time zones, different feelings. It's stuff that has to get done. Let's just, let's just plot on you know, let's just do the work. i agree with steve yeah, yeah let's, me keep, too. let's keep going don't let your feelings get hurt let's keep going yeah yeah we're i i feel like we are actually getting somewhere with this and and it is important for us to do it so i i would like to continue <laughs> definitely all right um just to bring this back on track then felix has a list of things that we need to get done to get the voting underway um Shall we take the points one by one and get some kind of resolution on how we're going to answer each of these questions? So what are the primary questions that we need to um, get decisions on, Felix? The ones we just ended. And um, when is the starting date already? 
for the election. Starting Satan for I think we have to figure out the nomination and the election. But for trip drops, really only the election counts. They they have to set up everything on their side. Okay. So we talked about September twenty second as the start date, and it'll go for ten days. Is that? what everybody is agreeing to. So that would take yeah. it to October 2nd. I think, I think what maybe what we need to do is have a cutoff date for nominees, right? Yeah, we're working backwards to that. Right now, we just need okay. to know when the election sure. itself is gonna happen. Um, sure. And if everyone's agreed with September 22nd to October 2nd, then we can move to what needs to happen before that. Um, Quasar. When, uh, sorry. Uh, thank just, you. And just quickly, after the election, we'll need to announce the election at some point. Uh, Reese. Uh, I, I just wanted to know if if anyone here actually knew off the top of their head when the next uh, phase of Catalyst, like when 10 kicks off, because if these dates align with that very well, then it's perfect. And, and if they don't, then we might need to try and hurry it along a little bit or know going into it that we're going to be us as CCV4 are going to be bleeding into the next um, the next fund. So it was just if anyone did know off the top of their head what the next batch of dates were uh, so that we could work to those as well, because I think they're quite important. Two minute chip in there, everybody. I, I don't know where to check, that's all Chris. So I don't, okay. know, don't know how easy it is for you to get that. I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking for it, I'm grabbing it and I apologize for not raising my hand. I think right now there isn't a fixed announcement for it because yeah, after to be really clear there isn't a, a fixed date we've got a, a date in mind but obviously it depends on um uh, it, it depends on if we're able to conclude fund nine and then have a suitable amount of time in between fund nine and fund 10 but um the the this, the, the currently slated date is the last week of october to start fund 10. Perfect. Then these dates are fine. So this is great to work to, which is brilliant. Thanks, Chris. Welcome. Nice. So are we all agreed that September 22nd to October 2nd is the election window? Then we can call that accepted and move on to what needs to lead up to that. Then um, Chris, that should... Sorry. I just saw Chris had his hand up if he wants to say anything. Oh no, sorry, I, I just hadn't taken it down. The only thing just to say is that that date is a slightly bit of a moon beast. It might come forward a, a few days, um, but it, it might not. Uh, we're, we're sort of we're we're we're, we're uh, slating the last week of, of, of October at the moment. Okay. Um, Quasar. <clears throat> Is, can I have access to this CCV4 election checklist? Uh, we just agreed on this. I'd like to initial it or say that uh, I agreed to it um, and record it. That way we understand and we can come back to it with no confusion. Yep, the link is in chat now. Uh, Felix. Um, gives us just then naturally already the time frame for the nomination. Let's say a nomination, for example, September 1st until September 21. Or do we want to have a time to review the nominations, all the stuff, maybe one week? So from 1st to 14th, and from 14th to 21, we can check nominations and whatnot. I think the latter option is best. Yeah, I agree. There mm -hmm. should be a break, bigger break between those two things. So we will have a, a two week nomination window. Uh, Reese. 
Yeah, I, I was just going to say, I think this is, that's the best way to approach it because what we don't want to assume there are a certain amount of people in and then right at the last second, five people submit themselves into various categories and then Trip Drops have to read all their work overnight somehow. Also, it gives us a bit of time for to be able to get the nominees in front of people, whether that's in spaces or in videos and stuff. So we can help them expose, get a little exposure to the community and actually promote themselves and, and kind of put themselves forward properly rather than just filling out a form as well, which I think is quite important. So I think that's a good way to approach it. Good point. So are there any objections to September 1st to the 14th being the nomination window? And then the 15th to 22nd will be used to check nominations and then candidates can be promoting themselves all the way up until the election there in that, that week. All right. So moving backwards from that, what do we need to do to get up to the nomination? Now to the last point, which is open on the checklist as well, we need the criteria to refine criteria. We went quite well through it last call already, where we had some really nice outcomes. I think the main idea was to say, okay, what we had for the criteria for Cattle Soccer version three, where we have experience, commitment, engagement, something like this, that we wrap this in an introduction call, introduction text. And the nominees have themselves say, okay, what makes you a good nominee for the seat you, you want to run for? But there are still some, um, da, da, da. exactly, Tommy just posted the link in the live chat. So yeah, I've just, I've just added the, the document into the document, into the checklist doc. So when does this need to be done by? Is this as, as soon as possible kind of thing? So we give people plenty of time to consider themselves. For nominations on September 1st, because that's coming up in what a couple of weeks. We need to put a priority on it, you know, because how, how do people know what they're standing up to be nominated for? You know, and, and how do we represent, you know, if we want to encourage people to stand as nominees, what, what are we encouraging them to do? Really yeah, I agree. I feel like this needs to be finalized by next week so it's ready to go out. Mm -hmm. And a really important point there as well, yes, uh, the compensation. Where we asked IOG last time if they can just check back with IOG and say, hey, is it, do we have an okay from you to say, oh, okay, it's a parameter who funds the circle? Because if we have the yes from IOG, then we can do the next step and think, oh, okay. How? But first we would need to, yes, Chris, do you have any news there? No, I think that when we spoke last time, there was a proposal that was going to be created as to what, what, what the, uh, the expectation is. That was my understanding, the output of the working group. I remember saying, okay, if we could, if we could come to, 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 if we can come back with a sensible proposal that doesn't like have a crazy range between 1,000 and $15,000, then, then we can look at it. At the moment, it's difficult to say that this this is going to be a parameter um, without understanding, you know, what, what the, the conditions of that parameter is. And the only other thing that I would couch is that, you know, mm. we asked we asked for Nadia's input last week, and she said that she she did three days a week every week. But you know, we've got to be, be realistic in our expectations for what each role is going to be able to do and what they're actually being asked to do so you know i think that that then lends itself to how much compensation one should expect the the, the you know the, the the simplest thing to do 
not to delay the election is to not get too wrapped up in the compensation part today. And I know that's not the answer that everybody wants, but... Um, also, it clocks the whole thing, right? If you expect well, us I'm, to come I'm, up only, with... Only if we, sorry, forgive me, Felix, you carry on. Forgive me. If you expect us to draft a proposal first, you know which time this takes, and you know that this won't be ready for this for the time we have, I think. So, who's drafting the proposal? Who is included in the proposal? Then we come. Everybody has to be in the group to propose and the include to proposal. Who coordinates the stuff? Who sets up the events and the calls and the service and the document? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> There's a hell of work to do if you want us to submit a proposal. Uh, Reese and Lansky, your thoughts? Yeah, I'm just going to try and speed up that process a little bit and I'm going to throw a number out there. It's supposed to be part time work. So if we say $1,000 a month per person, what do you think about that? To say in the chat. Is that to me or is that to the group? Well, to everyone. What What do you think? Do you think that's reasonable? I know we got a thousand ADA for the three month term, and you know, from from my perspective, I don't think that's an accurate snap of what we actually did. And so I don't think that's enough for the next people, you know, the people who come in, I don't think that's enough of an incentive for people to actually do the work. So if we said a thousand dollars per month, that'd be $3,000 for their term. I think that's a reasonable amount of, uh, of funding for them. You know, is the term three months? Well, it's a uh, fund, which is supposed to be three months or uh, roughly three months. With a I stage of think... three months, I think I think that that's what we were talking about last time, aren't we? Like a six month term with a with a with a with a three month stage going to sort of say, do they want to continue participating or not? Yeah, my suggestion was thousand uh, dollars. Sorry, three thousand dollars per sub circle, so fifteen thousand dollars per month. And that would be funding three people, the the yeah, rep, so the secretary, they, the facilitator. Yeah, so they could decide like how to. Yeah. Um, Steve, so you have your hand up. Yeah, I, I, I I'm okay with saying a thousand dollars as opposed to a thousand eight. I'm, you know, I'm just, I. You know, I, I like saying it in NADA, you know, because I think that that's how we should think inside this ecosystem. Um, you know, for 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 people, you know, from North America and Europe, it's it's not, you know, it's not going to save their life. But you know, if they don't spend it, it's going to be very meaningful for them in the future. And for people who might be coming from other parts of the world, it's very meaningful now, whether they sell it you know, because they need it or whether they, they hodl it, you know, so, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with a thousand dollars. We can do the same as IOG, 3,000 ADA or 3,000 USD, whichever is longer. That was a joke. <laughs> Quasar, your hand is up. Yes, thank you. Um, the challenge setting for fund 10 is uh, 12,000 or 12 million, it's an ADA. So we should probably be doing this in ADA. That's a recommendation, not a, a threat. <laughs> so we, we have a proposal from a couple of people to do this in ADA. It sounds, it sounds like $1,000 is kind of where people will feel comfortable. Is that enough of a, range Chris to take away because now you have a kind of a, a, a scale of what we're looking at yeah um I think this this makes uh sense to be it's, it's a bit more concrete now right and also it's not um we're not talking uh 
large numbers that's going to make people's eyebrows really raise. And I think, you know, we should be trying to appeal to, uh, you know, people that are still trying to understand, uh, yeah, the legitimacy of the, of the circle, right? And whether it's, you know, whether it's the community or stakeholders or, you know, CF, Omega, whoever. Um, I'd, I'd be happy to take uh, that back if, if that's what we're, we're all sort of talking about. Um, the, what I will say is like, there's um, the last conversation that we had with Charles, as in the governance team, is that um, new so new decisions of treasury movements um, aren't necessarily going to be just decided um, by the existing stakeholders. So um, if we're sort of adding over and above the existing fund budget, um, then yeah, I, I, I'm going to come back to you to next week with some feedback. And my, my guess is it's a low enough amount, but for, for, for important work, that people are, are going to get on board with it. But, you know, um, just, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to you with feedback, hopefully sooner than next week's meeting. Um, but I'll certainly uh, uh, spin it up into, um, into a proposal. Okay. And then, you know, what, what that might mean is there needs to be some sort of understanding of what the kind of baseline service level agreement is in terms of like what, what people are actually going to be doing with that money. Yeah, and that brings us to the other half of this is the the role description, the expectations, the the criteria for nomination. Um, how are we going to get to clarity on that as soon as we can? Can we say that funds are only distributed after work is done and let's say shall we? Uh, I'm not a fan of that. No. Mm -hmm. That that the direction of that. Incentive salary. Anyways, why don't Chris go back to IOG and tell us next week or week after that what to do? If it's from the 20%, then maybe it should be also pointed out what is it chip away from? Is it voting rewards or referral fees or what? Mm -hmm. Quasar. Chris, is the, the, the funding amount for the challenge teams that's already approved and could be distributed should a uh, 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 finalized closeout before it be submitted, or is that something that also has to go back to IOG? Um, I mean, the, the, the challenge teams have been uh, approved as part of Fund 7, 8, and 9, um, Fund 10. Uh, I need to double check on that. Actually, I need to have a look at the, the uh, yeah the, the 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 discussion thread and just make sure. But I'll, I'll, I'll again, I'll take that as an action that I'll so I'll tell you next week as to what the state of play is on challenge teams. For, for, for fund ten, obviously, that doesn't account for fund nine. Fund nine's already in the bag. I have one follow up with that. Go ahead. Are we looking to do challenge team compensation for the IOG team for Atala Prism for Block Frost? No. Or, no? Okay. Okay. Um, 
and the uh, the total amounts of received uh, conflicting uh, understandings, whether it was twenty five hundred or five thousand or ten thousand per per challenges. I don't know the total budget there on those. That one was 2,500, uh, and then it was 5,000 for yes, the following two. So it's 5,000 per challenge. Is that uh, 2,507, 5,008, and nine? Yeah. Yeah, the, okay. the only difference there is obviously on the products and integrations challenge. And again, I don't think that's actually been fully uh, clarified. So it's an action on me to make sure that we, we understand that by this time next week. So the DAP, you're talking about the 8 million, the DAPS products and integrations team? Exactly, yeah. Okay, okay. And, and there's... Know, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a way to do it that, you know, that will be split into a, a, a team of challenge teams, right? There'll be a, a, more than one or two or small number of people because there's going to be such a big challenge, which is reasonable. It is, but it is. I guess we covered that part of the agenda that we were not discussing. Thanks for the bringing us back on track. Um, for the election stuff, um, it looks like for next week, um, we need to finalize the criteria for that nomination. Um, sorry, sorry, there's a lot of noise. Yeah, so, so something is cracking up a little bit. On your side now. Okay. How's this? Perfect. Okay. So we need uh, to figure out how we finalize the nomination criteria and what we need to do next to get to that. Um, but before we do that, Felix, is there anything else we need to decide on before? Drip drops can move forward, or is everything good now? Everything good. Awesome. Thanks a lot, everybody. Okay. So it sounds like nomination criteria is the next big thing that we need to get done um, so that we can announce and get people um, the data they need to make that decision. Um, do you want to do that here in this meeting? or? Do we want to take that away as a, a working item for everybody? Let's do it. Get it done. Okay. Yeah, we're all here now, aren't we? Let me open up the spreadsheet for that. So last time we mostly spent the time on the when you scroll down. Exactly on this part. There we have already some alignment. Say, oh, okay, the parts there we took, uh, we take off, and we will pack it in the introduction part. Also, regarding the code of conduct, which gives us some really good points already. Then Tommy, I think it was you. You added already the description to each of the five categories or roles in this regard. Then, and if you scroll up a little bit, all of that is just. Uh, basis for conversation. There's nothing fixed there. Okay. And if we scroll up a little bit more, exactly there we come to the list. We touched a little bit on the last time, but we didn't went fully through it. Say, so, okay, the responsibility. Uh, these were, sorry, these were just brain farted in the Friday's meeting. So definitely needs to be revised. Okay. So how would you like to go through these? Do we want to look at the responsibilities first and then the preferred qualification? And the way it's written, are the responsibilities the same across all the categories? Yeah. For the, for the required stuff. Yeah. Okay. This was the point from last week as so well. The responsibilities are the same, but the qualifications change them and are adapted to each and every specific category. Okay. That's good clarification. 
So the responsibilities as listed are represent the catalyst community, its needs, visions, and all its beautiful fractions. Represent the interests of the functional role they were selected for and provide a unique perspective to the others. Exercise their own best judgment about matters that come before the circle. Familiarize other members of projects, activity, aims, and hopes and concerns of the community. Periodically take the opportunity to introduce policy proposals into the circle's agenda for consideration. Inform the communities about the initiatives of the circle. Regularly attend meetings every two weeks. Maintain an agile backlog list to track issues between meetings. Review and comment on agenda issues ahead of time. Maintain awareness of the interests and concerns of the community. Disseminate the circle outputs transparently and accessibly. Learn and practice effective meeting procedure. Produce an election protocol document for the next elections. Attend training sessions focused on inclusive and lean startup leadership techniques. Provide feedback on the effectiveness of the circle. Um, Chris, your hand is up. And you're muted if you're speaking. Sorry. Um, the attend training sessions focus on inclusive and lean startup leadership things. I guess one question is, has anybody in, in their tenure here um, ha had those opportunities presented to them? And, and if they haven't, do we need to leave, remove that? Because it's a, it's a, it's a non-thing. Um, so that's for question one. I've got a slightly bigger point to raise. Um, and I don't want to know we want to just figure question one out first. Okay. I have the same thought for that. Um, I'm wondering if that is a responsibility or something that we can offer as a circle training at some point. Really? I mean, we did, I think where, where this came from, if I remember rightly, is we had the boost camps that were being facilitated by Entrepreneurdy who, you know, did drive uh, training on on lean lean startup uh, leadership, and um, my, my 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 suspicions are that this was a, an artifact of that relationship. Um, okay. If it, to, if it needs to be there, you can put attend relevant training sessions. Full stop. But if it doesn't have to be there, just doing. Okay. Yeah. Catalyst Circle version one. There have been some training sessions which have been hosted by governments alive. That's right, and, and governments alive as well. Yes. But yeah, I would also say, yeah, take it. Okay, if anybody has no objections, I just crossed it out. Um, Chris, you mentioned you had a bigger topic as well. Yeah, I just want to, and, and yeah, this is, this is not to sort of trip anything up, but I just want us to think this through. And I like to think things through from the context of the user journey. Okay, so what are the user journeys for each of these different roles? Like, if these people are then tasked with going out to engage community around these different pillars, are they just engaging the same people? Or are they engaging discrete uh, subsets of community. How do they how do they go about doing their their role? And so when I think about a user journey, like for example, okay, so I was if I was the proposal assessor rep. I would be able to go into the proposal assessor uh, Telegram, or I could go into the Discord, or I could, you know, engage with a subset in order to tease out you know, uh, in, insights and requirements. And I'm just trying to understand how we functionally do that with these, with these new role types. Good questions. Uh, Quasar and then Reese. This is a responsibility, so um, <clears throat> Uh, the training that would have been for the nominees. I know we took it off, uh, but uh, that's where the, my hand was up because of that. Um, yeah. I'll lower it. Okay. Uh, Reese. Yeah. Um, so previously, it's been left up to us to uh, communicate, uh, reach out to people in our respective communities 
like that's our responsibility to figure that out um so with these new groups uh, it's not as clear cut there's nothing wrong with people doing it their own way though i don't think you know i don't think there's any issue or like even if there is crossover amongst some of these groups but for certain individuals i think there was previously anyway so i don't really think that that's anything that would get in the way of any of the people doing their work and i think the people who are putting themselves forward it to to represent these groups are going to be more than competent enough to be able to find those people uh because they're going to have to explain how they would do that when they're applying for the role that to even get voted in so i don't really think that's going to be much of an issue uh personally anyway um yeah another thing that's different this time is we have the concept of sub circles that we're tying strongly to these categories and my understanding from our previous conversations around that is they're basically just heading up and selecting a secretary facilitator for the sub circle meetings and then opening up invitations to the community for people that want to join so it's going to be less going out and connecting but the community is going to come to these sub circles and provide them with their input and participation um, so i think the dynamic may be a little bit flipped on its head for this next iteration which is actually pretty exciting um tommy um if we need a central place to have all of the sub circles in the same place then probably the project catalyst discord or the catalyst united discord would be that place So maybe each sub circle could have their own channel there or whatever. Yeah. And then there's diff different working groups under them. But maybe it just becomes huge. <laughs> yeah. I think those are all very good points. I think it's gonna be exciting to see who steps up and see stuff through action through these sub circles. I really agree with, with what we said. Quasar. I'm, con I'm concerned that we've, we've already begun a journey of stereotyping and assuming that these are categories that people all belong in uh, and they agree with it. So I don't know that it's the, re the, rest, the best way to move forward with it. Um, and I don't know that it's going to improve uh, the communication between the functional groups, but I have a real concern that we're just willy-nilly categorizing groups and people and functions based on our knowledge uh, that what we know and what we don't know. Can we walk through the other points which are there? Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to personally respond a little bit to Quasar. I initially had the same feeling that we're setting up categories and structures and um, telling the community this is kind of the buckets to fit into. But the other side of that is if we're truly opening up each of these categories for people to show up who want to participate, then we're halfway towards a, a kind of a participatory upside down hierarchy. Um, and then maybe through the next iteration of circle five or six, we will completely eliminate these categories and structures or change them so that they represent the actual communities that are showing up rolling up their sleeves and wanting to work. Um, that's my hope is that eventually the community decides what the categories are and but we need some kind of thing to kick it off and so I, I'm hopeful that it's going to to look nice. Um, Quasar. <laughs> Elias is coming in. Do we know what the goals are? Um, and we've went from five functional groups with roles to uh, 10 um, uh, stereotypes. And I'm going to have to dismiss myself again. Go goals, objectives, and everything's pretty well defined by. Uh, Catalyst GPS already. And we went since three months already through the document, the, which explains the purpose and the goal. Also, including the introduction of the Catalyst Circle from Chris in for the first. Circle. Okay. Um, 
in 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 that oh, and in circle. Oh, I'm sorry, Felix, you go ahead. Oh, just want to last mention one of our goals, for example, is to set up the election process for the next version. Right? So. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's that's uh, as a goal. Uh, one of the goals is also to uh, facilitate functioning communications between and into across the functional groups. So how are we going to achieve that, getting people and culture speaking to network and ecosystem? Or better yet, SPOs that are now tasked with user experience. How, how have we done? Yes, sir. Well, those are Pez. Let me see if I can get you one. How well have we done getting uh, the, the SPOs and the, the community advisors talking to one another, and um, and the general data holders talking to, to, to anybody. How, how are, if I can ask the group, I just want to take a pause. Um, <laughs> thank you. Olaf would like to, okay, so I'm holding Olaf. I'm holding my safe, my safe stick. How are you all feeling about the circle's ability to, to communicate across uh, the organization and how is the circle, you know, how have we done? And I know we're not doing this, um, but thank you for that. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put it in, dude. Thanks, Quasar. Uh, Chris, then tell me. I just wanted to, to, to sort of point out so I appreciate that the, the, the report and the, the strategy document that GPS group has produced, but I'm still not sure as to when it seems to have been unilaterally decided to implement these changes. I mean, we, we, we did put these onto the, the page last week, and I'm still not sure as to when it was decided and who decided that these changes were gonna be made. We had a vote at one of the previous circle meetings and it was decided you might have not been there and Harris was there in your place and Harris abstained from the vote, um, but did not object to it. And the rest of the circle did not have strong objection to move cool. forward with this as an experiment. I appreciate that, that context. And yeah, that helps me to, to understand. Uh, wait there. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I recall that vote, but I believe there was also a, a, a meeting between Swarm or Swarm veterans on Saturdays and Fridays that um, I was not able to have been, so maybe it was uh, voted on there. The Swarm has nothing to do with the, the circle decisions. Um, and we can go back through the minutes if that's needed, but we do have a record that that happened at a previous circle meeting. Um, before I think we should just continue through this process. We're kind of getting derailed again um, for the responsibilities um, and the other stuff so that we have the nomination criteria set to announce out. Um, I think we crossed one thing out. Is there anything else that jumps out as a serious concern or something that's missing from the responsibilities list that people would like to um, yes. talk about? Can, can I speak? Yes. Um, I I'm, I don't I don't see it. I'm trying to read it, but I don't see it there. That one of the issues what Quasar alluded to is that the different people and functional groups have been unable to pull together towards the same direction. That's a real nuisance in an organization that wants to get amazing things done. Um, so what we are saying in the trustee guide is that one of the first things that the circle should be doing is getting people together, like not just circle, but getting the community together to come up with a strategy where you have a common direction and common understanding of your purpose and, and the strategy of how to get there. And once you have that and you see yourself on the same page with everyone else, then it's easier to pull towards the same direction and realize that every little thing that I do is actually taking us towards the shared dream. So that's kind of the whole idea, but I don't see it here. 
Um, how would you phrase something like that um, in a succinct sentence for a responsibility that somebody could read in the nomination criteria? Could I do it? Uh, facilitate Did collaborative it strategy yet? making process. Or maybe Quasar's daughter can say that better. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. Um, I'm going on here. Um, but yeah, so we need to understand that um, this is for CCV4. And if they're successful, then the CCV5 is more of a maintainer of that and no longer facilitator of uh, creation of the foundations. So I think the circle role naturally changes over time, which it should most. So would it be like facilitating the creation of a common vision for the circle or common goals for the circle? Not, not only for the circle, but like helping the, like helping the community to figure out what they have to do. And yeah, there are 39 pages of details about this. <laughs> no point. This doesn't... Okay. Uh, Felix, then Ruth. Would be to another point, so I wait. Okay, Ruth, did you have something to add? Um, I yeah, but it it's uh, kind of irrelevant. It doesn't matter at all. It's uh, me just misunderstanding what was going on. To be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Um, any other? comments or ideas for the responsibilities. Um, Quasar and Felix, you both have your hands up. Did you want to add some? Mm, would be another top. OK, like mentioned. we can move on. Then. Question, uh, who here does actually maintains a backlog of your activity for the Catalyst Circle? Who of you can I ask, give me a link and show me what you have done in the last two, three months? Does anybody? I think QA, QA DAO does that. You know, if anybody goes bothers to read through. Mm -mm. QA DAO covers the meetings. They do not cover what happens between them. My subcircle does, and they are giving me a lot of shit this morning for things I've said in the circle meeting. So, just because there's a maintainer agile backlog list to track issues between meetings, just thinking this was always a problem. And I'm actually not sure if this should be a responsibility. If we see already in circle version one, two, three, it was extremely hard to just motivate circle members already <laughs> to keep track of their stuff. It's sad a little bit, but yeah. Maybe it'll be easier with uh, an entire subcircle working on those things. Um, the prioritized problem board was really, yeah, to track what the prioritized problems were from each community and seat, and then to track the progress and resolution of those things. Um, we stopped using it to focus on the election stuff in the last month and a half. Um, but that definitely was a core mechanism of circle in the past, whether it was effective or not is another question. Um, hands raised Quasar and then Chris. <laughs> Forgive me, I've been, uh, I have not been here. I haven't heard anything. I had to step away uh, with the lights. Uh, I couldn't lower my hand. Okay, thanks. Uh, Chris, then Tommy. Sure, just wanted to advocate for an agile backlog listed to be uh, maintained. Uh, there's there's no way I could do my job unless I had a backlog, <laughs> frankly speaking. Um, whether it's a Trello board or an Asana or whatever tool you want to use, um, the, the benefit of having a backlog is that it gives you a good understanding of what's being worked on today, what's to do, and then what can be yeah, prioritized for, for, for the future. Mm -hmm. like a kind of like a kanban i mean we use jira within io but that's not really 
uh, reasonable to expect people to use Jira. Uh, but, but Trello is a pretty good tool, as so is Asana, and there's, you know, there's a bunch of them that can be used. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, Trello was used by Circle V1 and 2, and we moved to um, GitHub um, oh, yeah. projects for CCV3. Um, Tommy. Um, since the original Circle stuff came from Chris, from Chris's blog post, I would almost say that in the interest of time, if Chris could go back to these points and just like clean it up a little bit because there's still quite a bit of um, stuff there. And if we had less stuff, less is more. <laughs> so it would be easier for us to go through with the communities also. Um, because I don't know. Maintain if, awareness one doesn't seem, seems to be like a duplicate of the very first one, for example. Yeah, but- my, Will you my repeat? Point, well, I, the maintain I, awareness one, sorry. And sorry, Tommy, I, I interrupted you. My apologies. Okay. So you can hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, point being that if we go this slow, we will be here still at midnight. So <laughs> maybe yeah. someone should take over and just like um, clean this up a bit. And it's an open document. So anyone can still keep give comments. It's It's been open for the past two, two weeks. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think we're able to finalize this here? Because there are some things like the preferred qualifications where we should actually pay attention to that we haven't even checked. Yeah, I think the responsibilities thing is kind of finished with now. If, if there's everybody... something specifically missing. If nothing's missing and somebody wants to take a pass at cleaning it up, then we can do that. Um, if nobody wants to clean it up, I'm sure we can use this list as is. It's It has some good stuff, and I don't think there's other... I'm not hearing objections to any of the things that are listed here. All of them have taken maintain awareness out, added the word concerns into the very first responsibility line, and I think that's a that's job done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Joey. Yeah, as I'm going to say, can we just do a quick around the room? Everybody good with this, the way it looks, and so we can move to the next step. All right. Um, do you want to kick us off, Joey? How are you doing with the list as it is? I'm good. I think you know it's it. It covers everything and. It can always be added to later, so it's a good, okay. good, good place. Uh, Chris, how are you with yeah. that? All good. Uh, Quasar? I have concerns about it uh, uh, matching up with the uh, Cardano governance oversight and improvements body, if we can actually accomplish that, if those responsibilities uh, represent uh, the path to that. But I'm good with it. I will rely on you all. Okay, Steve. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Okay, Felix. Good. Yep. Reese. Okay, all good. And Tommy. Yeah, sure. What is on the goals part on the top of this? There's some notes there. Um, where are you talking about? Sorry, I have a very small screen today. I, I added the notes and I'll, I'll let you know what I was thinking with those notes. Um, we were looking at uh, the goals and I was thinking, what if instead of sub circles or roles, we define the circle by teams of goal oriented. So if there was <clears throat> uh, doing the election, doing the communication um, and the other two, uh, whatever the goals are or whatever they were, what if that was the circle? Not the roles of who we're representing, but the goals of the circle as the group. 
That was the intent of those, trying to find out where, what goal they actually would fit into and what role. Well, these were supposed to be common goals for the whole circle. I understand that. Everybody having shared common goals often thinks someone else is taking care of it and gets dropped. Okay, so should we revise the goals or? Or did we already? No, I made notes. I didn't do anything with it. Uh, if you all know what the goals are um, and how to accomplish them through these, you want every single, um, if you want these 10 uh, um, descriptions uh, in, in pairs of two, uh, to achieve all of these goals, uh, let's figure out how to get SPO, uh, the SPO network uh, to facilitate communication, coordination, collaboration between all of those. They're doing a great job of it so far. So I'm up for the challenge. So it sounds like everybody, did I miss anybody? Everyone's happy with the responsibilities as they're they're set here. Okay, Chris, your hand is up. It's not meant to be. Okay, sorry. All right. Um, so now we have the the preferred qualifications, um, and this is the area that differs between section. Um, do we want to continue into those? Uh, maybe you should check the focus first. I don't know why you started from the middle. <laughs> if you go up. Yeah. Can I make a suggestion? Sorry, Andres. Yep. And now that we've got the responsibilities bottomed out, maybe just move the row around uh, like the kind of qualifications and expertise up so that we can sort of see amongst the, the, the focus and the role. Yeah. You mean this row right here? Yeah, move that like up to, to the top of the dock so we can kind of see it in the round of each of the roles. Okay. And um Going back to the focus role, is this something that we need to um, discuss? I'm not completely up to date with what has been happening in the working sessions around um, the categories and the work that's been done there. That working group that we were, we had two weeks ago, it was supposed to focus on the focus. <laughs> And mm -hmm. since the rest of the circle was not there, it was not done. So I think we should focus on the focus and make sure that everyone shares the same understanding as we leave from this meeting. So we don't need to argue anymore and we can um, go to the community and say that this is CC in V4 and these are the sub circles and this is the focus. Okay. Uh, Quasar, your hands up. Thank you. While we're thinking about that, um, I had a fun experiment. Ask yourself, uh, which one do you believe you belong in if you were to run uh, again in circle four? Which would you run in? And then maybe ask some of your uh, network which one that they would put you in or which one would they nom you in, nominate you to. That was a fun experiment for me. Yeah, I would say I have been working in structure and processes, but I would rather be in people and culture. That's an interesting experiment. Uh, Steve. You know, if, if I was to stand, I, I would probably stand for growth and impact, but I would have a problem with this definition of the focus, right? I mean, like, I'm not interested in marketing. I'm interested in building, you know, and I, if anything was to come out of our circle or the next circle or the circle after that, it would be a specific strategy for building, right? You know, 
because there's a lot to do. And I, and I don't see that emphasis other than the term growth and impact. I don't see that emphasis on building as we understand the roadmap that we all seem to agree to by investing in Cardano in the first place. But you know, I've spoken about this repeatedly and I see people nod their heads, but I don't see any effort to refine that language, you know, from, from anybody else, right? I don't, or any energy behind changing that language, right? You know, I, I don't know what else to say about it. So thank you. That's why we are here. So what, what, what do you suggest? Because building, if you mean building on Cardano, that's on the production service. Well, you know, I, I, you know, I think, I think we want to bank the unbanked, right? And I, and I think that means community hubs and education. And, and that's, you know, I've been saying that since I got involved in Catalyst. And, and yet it's really hard to just make that a standard, you know, something fixed and in the community and Catalyst in the circle. And you know, I, don't, I don't know why that seems difficult to, to just instantiate into what we do. But to me, it seems obvious. Yeah, it's actually interesting. Uh, was it last week, maybe after town hall? Uh, there was a group, um, one of the breakout groups where I went after they had been already discussing for like one and a half hours or something. And it was exactly about this. It was about growth and impact. <laughs> and there was like 20 people like ready to represent this. And they were keenly talking about marketing and how important it is. Peter was there also. Uh, how important it is to tell people about your impact. So that's what it means. And if, if people are getting pimples of the word marketing, maybe we just take it up. Outreach is a great word. Thanks, Tommy. Chris? Yeah, I'm, I just want to sort of, it's sort of picking on both Tommy and, and Steve's points, but when we're looking at this idea of the role of the subcircle, and so, you know, if we pick growth and impact as to where sort of resting on there, where it's just like hackathons, demos and campaigns, networking, outreach, geographical expansion, community hubs. What is it we expect that the role of the sub circle to be? Or is it just that this is um, this is like the, the bucket of topics that are likely to be discussed during those sorts of meetings? I think that that might that might help to sort of refocus and sort of flip the script on this a little bit like is it is it discussion topics and areas or is it about yeah or, or, or yeah maybe someone can, can finish my sentence yeah I, I know what you mean because that role of the sub circle has not been written yet those are just notes so for example in production services you have the proposal support knowledge transfer and networking which makes sense. Uh, progress and evaluation of funded proposals makes sense. And then all of this other stuff is just solutions that part of the production services, but we need to write this stuff, just notes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, maybe, so maybe what I'm hearing from that then is the role of the subcircle could probably be, you know, consolidated somewhat, right? E each of those uh, groups can, there's probably like maybe uh, I don't want to pick a number, but like a small number of points that they would be focused on rather than like a, a bullet post uh, list of, of all the types of topics that could be discussed under that, that banner. Is that fair or not? I think you're saying make it a little higher level so that it's more succinct as to the yeah. scope of each of these buckets. Yeah. Quasar and then Steve. As I was looking through these and thinking about them, uh, what came to me was uh, some of this could include your 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 town halls, um, your your idea fest, your your, your challenge fest, um, uh, a lot of things that we're putting proposals in for that we're not tracking could be perhaps included in this. Um, in the sub circle that way these things are we know they're there they're secure they're 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 decentralized 
they're not dependent on um, weighted voting. Yeah, right now they just mentioned the growth and impact. It says town halls and and idea challenge impact festivals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I looked at this and just tried to to see how it would work and map it out on my uh, two years experience in Project Catalyst, um, and looking at all of the proposals and all the things that we've um, uh, tried to do and how we've tried to work together. Uh, and the you know the the fight and the struggle to to get funding for for one town hall and not another or a, one region and not another um, is there something without making enormous uh, request uh, to find some security uh, or uh, place uh, where this risk is is removed a little bit and people can be more active? Thank you. Would it make sense if each of us took one of these perspectives and spent some time on their own to reword it? Because I would like to see what Steve comes up with when he rewrites the growth and impact. And I would like to see what Quasar comes up with when he re rewrites the network and ecosystem, for example. Which one did you say I would write? You mentioned somewhere that you want to be representing SPO. So SPO. No, I did not, Tommy. No. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to, but no, that's not my place. You know, oh. I don't. I don't know what it's like to be an SPO. Um, <laughs> Nori, Nori uh, is an SPO. Reese is an SPO. Felix is an SPO. Yeah, Tommy, don't you have a pool? We all wear many hats. Um, just so that we can, we have 15 minutes left um, and we need to get this done. I think we seem to be circling a bit on the wording and stuff, but um, if we want to release this soon, perhaps we just open it up for final modifications and maybe at the working session, call it done next week and then we can release it to the community. Um, and anybody who wants to jump in in the meantime and propose new wording and stuff can do so. And if you don't, then you're um, implicitly agreeing with what's there is good enough for the election. Uh, and again, we're we're iterating. This is an experiment. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if it's confusing or causes confusion, we can sense that, make notes and change it for next time. Um, but yeah. It would be nice to bring this home so that we can get it out there so people can start to consider themselves for nominations and perhaps have open conversations after town halls or other community groups just to discuss what each one means and and help clarify that for the community. So are we taking responsibilities of making that happen or are we just expecting that someone does it like for if anybody wants to volunteer to do it, um, maybe put your name officially on the agenda or the minutes of the meeting to provide some accountability. Otherwise, I would say open it up to whoever is motivated to do so, do so. And if you're not, then you're implicitly agreeing to what's there. Yeah, I would say that I have looked at this enough and I'm tired of looking at it so someone else can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think many people are in that same book. Okay, then um, I don't believe that this is the best approach to achieving the goals of Catalyst or Cardano, so I'm not going to uh, just implicitly set by. I'll work on all of them. That's what it takes. I'll help you, Quasar. All let's, right. uh, let's sit down, if, if you can, over the next to tomorrow, maybe, if you've got an hour or two. And uh, let's let's sift through it and uh, tidy it up a little bit. I think it's only the role of the sub uh, role of sub circles that actually needs some some work. You know, preferred qualifications, focus isn't too bad. You know, maybe one or two little things might need adjustment, but it's it's minor, and I don't think it would take us very long. Yeah, it, it wouldn't. But these are very important, especially when it comes to funding a brand new thing called categories you know, that are here that we don't understand either. And and if we look back at the, the, the expense and the proposals and the auditing of Catalyst, and it's not there. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it, it is little, Reese. Uh, I don't want to intimidate you. 
but I'd, I challenge you all to see what we can do to really maximize this capital hyper asset that we have. It's worth it. Chris? Yeah, maybe just one other thing to say about that is um, I'm going to be going to look to get approval to fund the circle. It would be really nice to not have people defer responsibility to get this done. I don't mean to say that harshly, but I don't want to hear people saying I'm not going to bother doing it. Doesn't make me feel me very good that we're going to go. I know you do. You said, okay. <laughs> yes, I just said I'll do it all. So uh, mention that in the report. <laughs> mention it. Please, our... you, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. No. I, we yeah. Just I gotta, we just got to get to a resolution on this. Everybody's got to pull together. We've all got to do it. Yeah. yeah, I agree, Chris. But teamwork makes the dream work, guys. It, it's nearly done. So some people may be thinking that it's fine how it is and we can run with it. So it's not that people are disinterested. I think, I hope that, but they, they think that it's been talked through enough and this might be the final. Yeah, I, I agree with Nori as well. I don't think that was the sentiment that was actually put forward. I think people have already put a lot of work in. So yeah. that's why they, that's it. Yeah, I'm, maybe I just misunderstood, but it does feel like it does need a bit of refinement. That, that's for sure. It, it does. And uh, the, the comment of uh, no objection is an implicit, you know, X acceptance without being semantics, which I'm about to. So I'm just going to stop myself. I object to myself. <laughs> I, I agree with Quasar. I think we should make it so good that everyone can stand by it and then start getting people to work for the CCV4. You can't just like expect people to blindly follow. Everyone has to be excited about it. Yeah. But I'm so spent, I've done so much that I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. I love speaking to you at 6 a.m. at my 2 p.m., my 2 a.m. Uh, uh you know take a break let's take let's take our let's give ourselves some breaks um and and yeah okay so it sounds like quasar and reese will kick off a finalization process anybody else who wants to participate with that um should get together with them and then do we want to give ourselves a deadline of next week at the working session Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I think whatever changes we come up with, uh, of, you know, over the next few days should be passed around on Slack, I guess, um, so that everybody knows coming in next week, mm -hmm. we can lock it. Sounds good, Quasar. Part of the solution that I see does include uh, discussing challenge teams and that funding, not necessarily for Circle, but getting that, that's the path to getting a community excited, to getting funds to people, to auditing, to uniting everything and getting prepared for a, a really awesome fun 10. Uh, so it's not about challenge teams, it's about the challenges. Uh, good point. Okay, um, so what's left that we need to coordinate on before we announce to the community? Um, we have the dates, we have the nomination criteria underway, it'll be done by next week. Um, what about communications? Who hosts? The, elect, the nomination process. Who checks the nominations? Previously, this was done by uh, CC admin team, no governance guild, which do not provide the service now. So who is taking the charge of all this? Checking the nominations, how? Filtering out uh, nominations that don't qualify. Um, Felix, that's a great question. Let's... <laughs> to find the nominees. Let's all meet on Space Place tonight and deliver our solution to them. <laughs> no, to be honest, who sets up the Google form for the nominations? 
who makes sure to contact them, who makes sure that when people get nominated, they are well, for example, or stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle, Adafrog and Chris, but you know, they said they were going to do all the Google Forms. Kyle said he's really good at Google Forms now. That, that's a good question. Is Drip Drops running the election from nominations through voting, or are they just doing the voting? Normally, as it uh, correct me if, I, if I'm wrong, but normally the idea was that we or somebody runs for the nomination, and once we have the nominees with the intro text and everything, we just handle over to Drip Drop, and they throw it in the ballot. But I don't think that it's so much their desire to run the nomination process as well. I also don't think it's their responsibility to do that. Like they're just providing the voting service, right? Um, all they need is a list of nominees. So whoever does that normally, like whoever done that previously, whoever set up those forms, like we can do that. I know it might be a pain in the ass for us, but we can do it if we have to. But someone did it before. So whoever that was, I think is really responsible for managing that. It was yeah. the admin team before. And Peter we'll have to too. take care of it. Sorry, Nori. I'm sorry. CC admin team is volunteering since a year now and fully respect that they say, hey, wait, no, we can't. There aren't enough hours to help everyone. So. Okay, so should we do it then? Yes, we, we will do it and we will do it with consent, uh, transparency uh, to the whole community here uh, and do it in the open. All right. Awesome. All right. Do it in a space, do it on a live stream. Sounds great. Yeah. All right. So who's, Discord, who's right. going to identify the process, the forms, the everything? Guys, can I can I make a oh sorry, let me raise my hand. Can I make a suggestion? Um, it, no, if you scroll a bit further down the table, down the down the page, I'm setting up this table. This is where I think we need to sort of get to a, a rundown from where we are to results results are announced. Step by step. The user journey, the election protocol. You know, we, we might not get through this in the next seven minutes. Just to, okay. yeah, um, I will, we, have, we will not <laughs> a few steps here already. So, yeah, if whatever we're missing, we're gonna have to continue. Um, uh, but thanks for the table. If, if somebody wants to start moving some of these, because we have some stuff to find now, we have the nomination window and all of that stuff, um, those can definitely be dropped in. Uh, Joey. Yeah, the the uh, nomination forms that are already created. Do we have to recreate those, or can we copy those to a common Google place where we can all access it? Um, Pete, that should be easy enough to copy those, right? Yeah, we'll we'll get them, Joey. Okay. Okay. And Chris. Oh, sorry, I've still got my hand up. I'm just uh, moving some stuff in there. Okay. Um, last five minutes. Do we have anything else we need to collaborate on as a crew here? Um, Quasar. <clears throat> um, would would you all feel better if I did some more of the polis surveys, some small short ones to the point, and uh, just did want to point out that um, uh, CGO delivered uh, re, re, did a review on on the polis um, with some some great insights uh, to the results that we had there. So um, I think I think we use polis uh, for parts of this to help us define it. Really great point. Anything else?
All right. I think there's one thing on the agenda that we should probably talk about really quick is when are we having our next meetings? Are we moving it? And there has been some talk about moving it. It looks like Wednesday might be the only other day that's open for people. Do we want to move it? Keep it where it is. It's really hard to wrangle six to 10 people and coordinate their times. But if we can achieve that and everyone can make it to the new time, then um, we're happy to facilitate that. What I see as a good point of having it just before town hall is that we have a deadline. So <laughs> we will not uh, drag too long. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I can make it way early. But anyways, I think the main point is that soon there will be new people and they will need new dates and whatnot. So anything goes. Yeah, I think today's been working for everyone so far. So changing it might be a disruption. Yeah, I, I actually, I think I prompted this. Um, and uh, I mean, if it's okay that everybody's cool with this time, then then maybe we keep it. Because the, the meeting that this was overlapping internally has, was, has been changed. Keep it then. Cool. Right. And as Tommy mentioned in chat, it technically is before town hall. It's just way before town hall. <laughs> Gives a few days to get the slides ready for next town hall, right? Uh, you know, I mean, honestly, that's great. Um, today's really don't work for me, um, but I'll see if I can't continue to make it. All right. On the, sorry. On the agenda, apart from this election stuff, there was that VPA update that I really wanted to give. What was that? The subscribe that I'm supposed to represent. Oh, the update? Um, yep. Okay, we have. Oh, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> a bunch of stuff here that we didn't get to, but. Um, we have two minutes, so if you can do it really quickly, Tommy, if everyone agrees, then we can do that. If that's okay, two minutes. The... Time, time me. Okay. So, better sheets, meaning not in the bed, but in the spreadsheets. Uh, the feedback loop really helped, and Danny has done a great job with that, and he's still improving it, and I think he's using his own time to do that because he's so committed. Um, so, it's made, it's bringing up something that was kind of unexpected for me, which is people looking into the results of the QA stage after it has happened, because previously people have just been like tired as hell after that and they never wanted to look back. But right now people are really looking into the results of the QA, which is great. And community is having uh, conversations, they are challenging well, I'm also challenging, but then I'm saying I, I apologize when I was wrong. Um, but there have been very uh, intense discussions and there have been people who uh, come forward and explain how things are and why things are the way they are. And the level of conversation has been very respectful and I really, really like that. And this is mainly happening in Discord. I don't know about Telegram. I'm not there. Can I ask you a question, Tommy? Mm -hmm. Do the Vietnamese assessors feel happy? Um, I wouldn't know, but okay. it was very suspicious of what came from this particular group in Vietnam, and it was clarified. And it was uh, Duke Tiger who brought up the tool that they had used and, and showed why. I, I, this, yeah, why I, read, I read, I'm sorry, I, I, I read through all that dialogue, but it was two days ago and it seemed to be left hanging What at the point when I last read the interaction on Discord. And I, and I was just curious if. Okay, well, I haven't checked the latest, but it seems that there was a conclusion and the conclusion was that let the data speak for itself and now people are analyzing the data and at least I couldn't at first glance see any like uh, collusion or anything like that. Sorry, can, okay. can you keep it there? Uh, the next point was 
BPA caution. Um, yeah, so. Just a uh, heads up, we're out of time now for the meeting. You want to wrap me up really quick? Can I finish? Yep. Yes, yeah, you. Okay, so uh, BPAs are not giving excellence anymore. They are scared because of the uh, slashing thing. Uh, so it's a safe choice to give good for everything. Um, they are not filtering out unless it was flagged by the proposer. So that's a bit alarming. Uh, the petitions are now underway. Uh, they can be posted in Telegram or the Discord, preferably in the Discord because that's where they are collected. Uh, I don't know what the subcircle is su suggesting to do with them. I think there will be a representative of the subcircle who will then coordinate it. I think that's what it said in the guidelines. And there has been one request for flash reviews. And this is something that should have been discussed here. Uh, those people are now asking me what's the what's the result of this discussion, but I can only tell them that we didn't have time to discuss it. But it's basically a suggestion of adding an additional step into the process. And I'm not sure if I'm for that or against that, but we should discuss it another time. Or if anyone you know wants to have a this discussion um, after this or, or continue it, you know, we kind of have up to Friday to get some information to Daniel. I had a lot of people that I, I, I've let down by not having a chance to discuss it as well. Um, There's a lot of issues. It sounds like some opportunities for some conversations offline. All right. Yeah, Thanks for they, they're, they're expecting like official stands from the circle and we cannot do that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, everybody. That brings us to the end of the meeting. Um, thank you all for your participation. Um, we're at time, so we won't do the checkout round unless people think that's important. Um, and then we can just end the meeting here. We have some actions and takeaways. Um, and starting to fill out this table for the, the election deadlines and things. So um, any other final comments? I'm good. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm good as well. I apologize uh, that the, it didn't feel like a safe space. Um, I, I hope we can all be patient with one another. Uh, it is, it is safe, so. For me, I want to mention it was not that I didn't feel safe. If you want me to feel unsafe, you have to come with a lot. But I feel I really felt uncomfortable today. I think there was a really weird atmosphere around. Yeah, yeah, and that's unfortunate. Uh, you know, the fact that it, it would well, make anyone want to just leave a, a digital space uh, that's not not good. So <clears throat> uh, we can get better. I think we turned it around in the end, folks. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Riz and Quasar, for stepping up to the responsibility of finalizing that nominations thing. Maybe just ping us when you need help or if some clarifications are needed. Yeah, of course, Tommy. And uh, and I, I agree with uh, guys. We actually got a lot done and a lot of decisions made. And we're actually moving stuff forward. Today's meeting was actually great. And uh, I think we should look at it positively because I think we've actually got things finalized that we really needed to get done so bloody well done from my perspective well done guys awesome all right thanks, thanks everybody yeah. for facilitating really thanks a lot man yeah i appreciate you all thank you peter thank you thank you nori thank you peter <laughs> all right thanks, thanks everybody bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. Yeah,